Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video. And in this one, I'm doing something that I could have done a little while ago um, when it was like, you know, beginning of the year. And it's, you know, talking about going up in your collector level. Uh, you can see right now, I don't know why um, I haven't really gone and grinded it out, but I'm all the way up to about 800 something cards. And we're working on um, Eddie Jones. And I figured since I'm going to be spending a good bit of some MT soon, um, by soon I mean like right now and after the video, uh, moving up to uh, this Eddie Jones collector level because he got quick draw and all that and he's just, he's so good. So I'm going to tell you guys how you should go up. I actually have some friends um, who are up at this like 1750 mark and I think there are some people who are either at this 2000 or at this uh, 20, 2150, which is absolutely absurd. Um, if you go over to this kind of community hub thing there's somebody i think who's at it says like four thousand or something but i'm pretty sure he's just glitching and because there's no i don't even think there's four thousand cards in the game yet but um we're gonna talk about easily what is like the best way to move up in your collect level and a lot of them are i would say triple threat i can't even show you i forgot about that i can't show you guys but there's a bunch of little um you can see the triple threat awards at one five and nine wins there's also some other cards that you can uh, get for them. There's a few Evos that you actually get from doing it. Like, um, I think you get Jamal Crawford. Yeah, you get Jamal Crawford. You get like Desmond Mason. Um, I think there's a few guys down here. I know Darius Miles, and then there is Gerald Green, who you can get. And it'll, it'll just help you get a few cards here and that. Because if we're being real, any card that you can get to move into your collect level is good. Uh, another thing you're going to want to do, if you haven't already, finish out Domination. I know that it's stupid. I know that it sucks. But you get a logo, a court, and an evolution player. You get so many cards from finishing these, and then you get one from each of them. I know it sucks. I know it takes forever, but if you haven't done it, you gotta do it. It's kind of worth it. There's a lot of tokens in there, too. Um, and that's just something you can do. Another thing to get just a few cards here and there is uh, do these spotlight challenges. You get a card for each one of those that you can get for free. Obviously, I've done them all, and I have them all, and that's something you can do. Make sure you get your token reward cards. Those will help you out. And last but not least, we're gonna talk about collections. Um, if I'm being real, <laughs> they're pretty expensive you can see i finished three over here and i think i've only finished one here um right now actually when i'm recording this video is after the flash packs have came out um so right now it's a pretty good time to get you know some silver cards and stuff like that there's a lot of cards that are out right now um and you're really going to want to try and get some of these cards uh when they're out or get some of these silver cards when they're out because they're going to be a so much cheaper when big packs like this drop everybody was buying for these cards like the mar odom is like 60 something k and that's super cheap for him um which makes all of these other current ones a lot cheaper and this is the time that you're going to want to pick some up i actually finished this bulls collection yesterday um when the flashbacks came out because so many people were throwing them out for super cheap that i just had to go out and get it how i do is i just go into here and search in normally kind of try to weed out some cards and look there's a one three thousand one fifty 3150 in the Next high so far is 4000 so definitely a good price for Miles Leonard right there. And just go through, check them all out. You can obviously just search by team, silver, and then just keep scrolling through it. Try to get a price that you guys like. S try to snipe them. Try to get them uh, down, and it's times like these when you're really going to want to pick up some of these uh, lesser cards. Another thing that I recommend is go and get some of these jerseys. I'll show you guys exactly how and to pick up some of the basketballs. Um, I actually just finished these now, and I'll show you why you should come and pick these. Uh, the most expensive one that I had to get was the black ball, which was 150, and everything else was like 700. It really isn't expensive at all. And then you can actually lock them in to get the bronze ball, just like I did right there. And then you can go over to the pack market, and then boom, you have another free card. So I bought all of those, finished the collection, and got another, it is a diamond, but so the free card that's moving me up in my collector level and i'm only 180 away um if you guys are trying to do it you can you know keep going up and try to get them oh another reason uh another way to get your collector level up since i'm talking about the basketballs is check these weekly and monthly things you can see if you play 60 games of unlimited or at least if i do i get the camouflage ball you're gonna want to go in here and uh try to get some of the uh, camouflage balls that way you can just it's free basically you just get something free for doing other things so to pick up some of these jerseys you're gonna want to go into franchise and just go over to home jerseys and then basically all i do is just go to like 400 and enable exclude user owned cards that takes all the cards that you guys currently have in your collection and just doesn't make them pop anymore and boom you can see we have this laker jersey for 300 you're gonna want to go over here and grab this and basically i don't have any of these 
So I'm just gonna go through and pick all of them up for 400 and they're gonna go to away. You're just gonna do the same thing and it's super cheap. Um, these are the cheapest cards really that you can get. So you might as well just come in here um, every day, just come in for 400 and do this and see if there's any cards that you don't have. <laughs> like, I mean, it doesn't hurt. Obviously, I just bought all those, why are you showing them? You can also do it with arenas. There's a lot of arenas that are super cheap that people just throw up. They don't expect them to have any value. Like, look, I didn't have this one, 250 MT. Didn't have this one, 250 MT. Like, boom. We're saving a bunch of MT. Instead of buying normal, expensive cards, I have all of these ones that I didn't even touch. You can also do it with coaches. If you know I'm one of the bronze coaches and stuff like that, you can go and just crank them out. And here's the, the ball cards. I'll see if there's any... Um, for like a thousand that I don't have and there is there's a few of them actually the neon red I'll pick that up. Oh somebody else got it 750 is actually a pretty good price for that But just go through here and try to uh, get some of the cards You can see you can just add them the only thing that sucks is I don't I'm pretty sure because it was this way in uh, 2000 2k19 it's probably the same way in 2k20 you don't get anything for finishing these um, you're gonna buy all these jerseys you're gonna buy all these courts and they're, they're really not gonna do anything for you see there's no completion reward you don't get um, anything for doing these, which is why I'm kind of recommending trying to get the, some of the balls done, because then you get another ball for it. And eventually you get the fireball, which is kind of cool, but it takes like 2,000 tokens, so I really don't recommend getting that anyway. But these are really going to help you out. Oh, I also forgot about playbooks. Go in and grab playbooks. This is the best way to kind of increase your collector level, is just go in, get all the cheap logos, get all the cheap playbooks, historic arenas, coaches and stuff like you say I already have all the coaches and just go through and get them super cheap that's going to give you a boost and then once you have literally all of those you can start working on the more expensive stuff this is what i did in 2k19 last year i had um almost all of my mt just going into here um and searching through for things that i didn't already have and I'm just buying them cheap because i don't like to spend a lot of my mt which is why i still have so much up there um and just go through and grab them all. Like, look at all the ones that I have right now. Well, I guess we'll pick up this one. We have to get the Charlotte Arena. We have to get the uh, Phoenix Suns Arena. And then we have to get the Kings Arena. And boom, there's four more cards that I didn't already have on the Bulls. <laughs> it's super easy. Playbooks, um, I don't know what these really go for because I really haven't bought too many of them. I don't think. And then logos. I think I have most of the cheap ones, yeah. So just go through and do some of that stuff. And obviously, there's the beginning things. And then once it comes to you have everything, what you're going to need to wait for is just all of the cards to kind of come through and really help you out. Just go through, grab some cheap cards, and eventually you can work your way up the uh, collector level. It's going to take a lot of MT, but you know, maybe one of these times, one of you guys can get up to that Galaxy Opal, uh, Anthony Davis, Dwayne Wade, <coughs> or even Arvidas Sabonis. What I think my end goal is going to be is to get to this Arvidas Sabonis. Um, I feel like that's a lot of MT, but to like lock in but basically if you think about it once you get to the card you can sell everything back and you don't you can just drop back down but you still get to keep all the rewards which is kind of cool so uh let me know any of the ways that you guys you know are trying to get more cards for it i do have some mt making videos um check out the channel for some of those if i remember i will link them down in the description um because obviously i have 1.7 or basically 1.8 mil i know what i'm doing with it um but yeah like the video if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. Um, at the time we're recording this, we're on the road to 2.8K subs. But if we have surpassed that, we're on the road to 2.9K, then please still subscribe. Put out a bunch of content almost daily. Um, so please sub. It means a lot. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you all in the next video.